Alright, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look at this uh, Marvel Universe uh, cable figure. Here's what it looks like uh, in packaging. Cable, figure stand included. And on the back it shows this from Series 3, number 7. And here's a little bio. You're welcome to pause it and read it. The other figures that are available, uh, we have uh, Wolverine, Apocalypse, and Cyclops. And uh, let's get this guy out of packaging. And here's what the figure looks like outside of packaging. Here's the front, and here are the accessories that he comes with. Also the rifle, a pistol, and a staff, and a detachable hand. Now actually no, he doesn't come with a detachable hand. Uh, I actually broke it, uh, so I'm gonna have to glue it back on. But uh, for this review, I'm just gonna leave it out there. Here's what the figure looks like from the front. From the side, from the back, and the other side. Here's a close look at the uh, cable's uh, head sculpt. And here's his armor. <clears throat> Big ol' X in the middle. One robotic arm. And this, uh, this hardest thing, it's a separate piece, so is the belt. And as far as articulation goes, uh, head is on a ball joint, and then on the base of the neck, there's a hinge there, so he could look up and down. And, uh, I mean, look up and down further than what the ball joint allows. And then shoulders a ball hinge, bicep there's a swivel, hinge uh, elbows. And then swivel wrist. And then the chest area, there's a um, hinge there. And on the waist, there's a swivel. On the hips, a ball hinged. And then bicep, there's a swivel. And double jointed knees. And then the, there's a swivel around the boot area. Right where that uh, blue piece is. And then the ankles are ball hinged. And then it also pivots uh, left and right, so he could do a wider stand, and his uh, foot will still lay flat. And here's a closer look at the pistol. And the rifle. And the spear. And his broken hand. I basically twist it too hard <clears throat> the, the rubber <clears throat> the rubber they use uh, were kind of soft actually really soft so I was trying to turn his hand uh, his, uh, it didn't move because uh, I believe the uh, the oil they use got stuck together so I basically twisted his whole hand off and then uh, after that his leg was wouldn't bend the thigh area so I basically uh, dropped them in the freezer and then an hour later started turning them and I got it to move and here's Capo holding the pistol and this pistol would actually fit in this holster let me show you and here it is pistol fit perfectly in the holster and here he is holding his uh, rifle. Whoops. Very nice figure. He is uh, just as good, uh, just as good as the Cyclops figure I got uh, earlier. Lots of uh, uh, points of articulation and uh, a great figure. Definitely worth picking up. Here's the Stan Marvel Cable number seven, and uh, he could also store his uh, rifle onto his back. There's a little nub here, which uh, the rifle could uh, fit in. You you have the rifle pegged onto his back, very nicely. And there you have Cable. 
And now he's holding the spear with the rifle in the back, pistol in the holster. Let's do a size comparison. And here it is, cable standing next to the Cyclops and uh, Terminator from NECA. have it. He is quite tall. It's even taller than uh, Cyclops. Cyclops is a very tall figure and now uh, Cable is even taller than him. Uh, there you have it. Uh, thanks for watching.